Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, everybody, on this beautiful 6 6 2018. How's everybody going? Dead, good to see you. Jerry, John, good morning. Grant Brockway, Andrea, how's it going? Ken Thal, Mark, Craig, good to see you. Howard, Lita, who's faster than everybody else? Who could say hi faster? There you go, Tom. All right, <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, everybody, hopefully everyone's having a great morning because I think I'm pretty much done already for the day. Um, start. I told you I was logged in at 8 a.m. And um, early bird gets the money. So um, I'm just going to bring this over here. You can see I, I bought the AXON. I, bought, I didn't buy that much. I only bought like 3,000 shares of it at 273 which was, if you look right here, let me just fix the time frame here, um, which is right around here, which is right around 8 a.m., actually a little bit past 8 a.m., and only a few of you were here at 8 a.m., so, I, but it's okay, you know what? Some of you guys came in at 8.30 and you bought a little bit uh, more expensive than me, so listen, you know, 8.30, if you bought it right there, you got it at 3.20, you're doing pretty good, you know? And you know what's so funny? You know what 3,000 shares equals? What is that, $10,000? You know, but everybody's talking about what's going on today with Amazon, right? Amazon broke the $1,700 price range. There's only one problem. To buy one share, you know, actually you buy, you know, 10 shares, how much are you going to make? on that move in, in Amazon, which you could trade the X, the AXON. So anyway, um, that's what it's all about, guys. And you know what? Don't worry about it, it's okay. Tomorrow morning, it's a new day, and set your alarm clocks, and just log in early. Just log in early. Listen, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not, but you know what? There's definitely a lot going on, and that's what it's all about. Anyway, so there's um, there's our watch list of a couple of stocks uh, obviously the big winner right now which a lot of you are killing it right now and uh who, who actually did pretty well on it i think a bunch of you already made money on it right who, who's in it i think a bunch of you already traded it steve dwyer made about 20 cents already uh michael made 10 all right who else got into it ken Thole, you made what 25 cents all right already and think about it you could buy a lot of shares with that stock very cheap all right, let's give all those guys a round of applause. Who else got a piece of it? You know, Jerry made 50 plus 50. Tom said he made 64%. We don't know what that means. We don't go by percent, we go by dollars. But you know what? I'll give you, I'll give you a, uh, a good job for that one. Hey, good job. Lazio made 42 cents. Kathy made, look at that. Isn't that great to start the morning? Beautiful, love it. David made 40 cents on 2,000 shares. All right. He's up 800, Dave. Dave, let's think about that. For $800 that you made right now in a matter of 30 minutes, you do that every day. There's your $200,000 a year salary, right? Where are you going to go wrong with that? Anyway, let's move on and talk about some of the stocks because you know what? Listen, don't worry. There's plenty that there's plenty to go around. There's a bunch of other ones, but let's talk about what happened um, this morning, uh, yesterday. The COTV, everybody, let's just look at that. It was a great mover yesterday. Stock went from 34 to 40. Was it a $2 stock? But you know what? Whatever. Money's money, and a lot of you guys did really well on that. That realistically is the big mover. Um, by the way, um, IQ, just to let you know, I bought I bought it back. They they, they, got, they suckered me out um, in one of my other accounts. So I got out of it and ended up buying it back. Um, in my other account, because remember, one, one big thing that I always try to teach you guys in class, and I'm just going to repeat it, and you're going to learn this very quickly. You learn this with experience. And remember, this is why we're here. We're here to learn. Remember, because losing money is a good thing because if you know why you did it, you're not going to do it again. So the most important thing, the tip of the day, I want all of you guys to keep in mind, is you always keep your swing trading trades and your day trading trades in two separate brokerage accounts, okay? Because when you have it in your when you have it in your day trading account, what ends up happening, you're gonna screw around with your buying power, you're going to always see it, and you're gonna think as a day trade and a swing trade, and you're gonna get out of it. So, you know, um, 
always want to keep it in a total separate account. All right. All right. So now we got that out of the way. Um, you know, that was basically the tip of the day. Let's talk about some of the stocks we're going to be watching. All right. Now, obviously, the, the, the number one place to always look. Oh, and by the way, it was funny about also the uh, the AXON. The stock traded seven million shares. When I looked at it this morning, the first thing that came to my mind, I'm like, wow, this thing already traded a half a million shares and it's only 8 a.m. Like, what's going on here? So a lot of great action. Look at that, 7 million shares in pre-market. And it's, the market's not even open, okay? It's not even open. No one could even, the typical 99% of the people that trade today can't even trade it yet. But that's what's going on with people like you, me, and the institutions that are out there. So that A-X-O-N is the ride over. I don't know. We'll see what happens when it opens up. But overall, pre-market's where, where it's at. All right. Now, there are a couple of the stocks that were on this watch list um, that did make the list. I want to keep an eye on this one too. The S E the S um, the S N E S trade. Cheap little stock, you know, another two dollar stock, so twelve percent. You know, stock we traded a couple of days ago when it was at fifty cents, ran to two dollars, came right back down. It's gonna probably it, lo it looks like it broke its resistance levels. Uh, when we were trading it, you could see it right here. Great iceberg orders. Look at that. Big, big block orders out there. So at least we get an idea where support and resistance levels. But that one is a pretty good, nice little stock. Kind of like that one. So I'm going to put that one on our watch list. And uh, what else did we have here? There was this one right here. Signet um, volume is pretty good. It's just expensive. You know, it's it stock took a big hit from 75, went way down to 35. It's been going up nice and slowly. It's starting to look a little bit like a swing trade, I would say, than more of a day trade. But uh, but that one's not terrible. And then uh, we had a big loser right here. Unfortunately, it's not a short. Yeah, that, I thought we had some good shorts out here. And let me just see if there's any other ones out there that I found. On one of my other scanners let me check my other scanners that i had we had that one and i mean there was this other one right here the the v the vb the vblt trade it's up about 30 percent, 300,000 shares once again you got to be careful this is a scalper stock you got to scalp it uh big you know remember this is one of those stocks that have the the big spread so that's the only um, thing. And I did find this one, but she's starting to trend down. The CL, I don't know if you guys saw this this morning, the CLRB trade. That one uh, had a great push, went from a buck 60 all the way to a buck 55 and right back down um, of its lows of eight o'clock. So I kind of like it now at these, at these support levels, but stock gapped up pretty big, the CLRB. That one is not terrible. Um, anything that was a little bit more in the... Above the five percent, no, I didn't see anything there. Uh, New York Stock Exchange. I mean, we know about the SI, uh, the SIG. I'm just seeing if anything came up out of one of my other scanners that I'm using. No, that's about it. That's about it. AMD is trading a lot of volume. Stock trade, 1.5 million shares, got good pre-market. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I think we pretty much got them all. Micron, all over the, that's always a fun stock to trade. All right, so we got we got one, two, three, four, five. Get used to it, guys. Get used to it because that's basically what it's gonna be. Uh, my screen locked up. Hold on one second. Let me share it again. All right, there we go. Is that a little better? There we go. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so let me just go through the watch list one more time. The AXON trade. Might want to take a profit. It looks like it's trending down. That's typical when we go into the last 30 minutes. The, the, Going to 30 minutes into the close, the S E the S N E S trade, the S I G trade, the V B L T, 
and the CLRB. So that's basically the stocks we're going to put on our watch list. All right, that we got. All right, anything I'm missing I did not call out? Anything I'm missing? Listen, like I just said, like I just said earlier, get used to it because as we get, as the summer goes on, it is going to get slower. The list is not going to be 10, 10 wide, but always want to keep an eye on what's happening in, you know, uh, over the course of the day. Now, remember, I know we have a lot of people are going to be watching on YouTube and people will be like, oh, what happened to this one? Um, what happened to the stock? I didn't see that in your morning watch list to see OTV trade. That's okay because there's always new ones that will come up, but us as day traders, we always focus on making our days pay early in the morning. And, um, you know, and like I said, if we see anything interesting, you know, then we'll, we'll trade going into the close. But that's about it. A couple of you just shooting out a couple of stocks. JJ says, what about the uh, the MEIP trade? It's got a nice push, got a nice trend, good volume. Good. I like that one. I'm going to throw that on the watch list. Didn't come, I don't know why it didn't come up on mine, but uh, that's what the team effort's all about. Uh, definitely with uh, you see it's not over, it's not even on here on the on this one. Oh, there it is right there 69,000 shares oh, it was there what else anything else i'm missing the vrx has been a really nice swing trade the vrx it's gapping up it's going up nice and slowly it's making a big comeback you know what we've been um We've been trying to catch the bottom on this for a long time, but the only thing I'm concerned about this, Amy, it's at the major resistance levels. You can see it right there, going back in the beginning of the uh, beginning of the year. So we saw the stock go from 12 all the way to 24. Look, came back down to 14. Very, very volatile stock. Not really a fun day trading stock. It was good yesterday. A lot of us did, you know, some of you did trade. It went from 22 to 23.20, but um, I'll be a little concerned about, you know, just be careful with that. That stock could really... And you know, Grant and me and Grant were trading it very aggressively at one point, and uh, it, it got me a few times. It got me a few times. It shook me out a couple of times. The uh, the H U Y A, yes, it's making a little bit of a comeback. Stock's been on a big rally. It was a big, big move. Um, once again, a little bit more of a swing trade, not more of a day trade, but it trades side by side with I Q. It's side by side. I mean, that goes down. This that uh, they either one. They both go down. It's like one's one's a warrant, you know. So they trade side by side, but they're both good. I still own it, you know. And that's uh, I own the IQ, so I didn't get into the other one. But they're both they're they're both been doing pretty good. Listen, what did I tell you for the past several days? My biggest concern about those two trades, they went up too fast. They went up way way too fast, and that's why it came crashing down. You know, and uh, that's the sign of just kind of showing you what high frequency and program trading is all about. You know, IQ trades side by side, Deb, with the uh, with IQ, the H Y, the H U Y A. Okay, all right, everybody. Listen, you got 15 minutes. Uh, go fill up on your coffees. Let's get ready for for the market open. I know we are. Some of us already probably made a day's pay, so you could probably go enjoy and finish up your planting, uh, for you know. Enjoy the rest of the day. Maybe play around the golf or maybe get your hair done, you know. But uh, if you're going to stick around, like I said, listen, don't worry, guys. If you missed it, just get here early and, uh, you know, and you always got till tomorrow, you know. And, and like I said, we still got the close. So uh, just be very conservative out there, guys, because you are in, going into the summer, the summer, uh, the summer times. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.